Howdy, Tom Hilton here again. Uh, this is my second video on our SAT2 nav system. Um, I'm going to start a little bit further back on the process when you first log in or first fire up the system. This is the desktop that you see. Um, you've got a lot of options here. You've got your power button. You can uh, turn on and off. You have a print screen. Um, this button just kind of changes your... Uh, whatever you're, you're interested in, what pain you're looking at. This one kind of gets you out of it. This is your back button. Um, I wouldn't recommend trying to re redo your angle here. Uh, you have that option, but I'm gonna be taking that off here shortly. Um, here's your gears. This is uh, your settings. So you wanna connect to the internet. You have to go look for your hotspot. I'm already connected to mine. Click the square down here and get rid of the screen. And then um, this one is just showing what you have access to on the system. And um, we'll get into that a little bit into greater detail later. And then um, this is your satellites. Um, this is the number of satellites that we're tracking. We're accurate to within one meter. This is their position and numbers above us. Uh, that's handy to know. And then, um, of course, here's the uh, RT Nav app. So um, I'm gonna come in and I have uh, I just saved a chart uh, this morning, well, from yesterday and um, tweaked it to a, a 68 to 74 degree range. And there's a, a nice uh, little eddy popping out here. Um, and I created a route. So I'm gonna select my trip. And here's the uh, trip name that I named it. It's uh, February 4th, sea temps, range 68 to 74 degrees. And I'm gonna turn that on and you can see that I, I just created, you can create routes along these dynamic structures to identify their position at that particular time. And now I'm gonna compare that route to a previous shot. That was, let's see, that one was, the first one we were looking at was at 1940 UTC, and we're gonna compare it to a 740, so that's 12 hours differential. This is a 12 hour older shot that we're gonna go back and look and compare that route to. And you can see that this is in the beginning stages uh, and over that 12 hours, this, um, this eddy has expanded northward and westward. And so this is just an example of how you can understand the dynamics uh, of which way these edges are moving and how fast, and so you can interpolate how to intercept them. Um, <clears throat> let me think here. You can also compare it to, uh, let's see if I save some chlorophyll charts in here. You can bring as many of these uh, images as you like. Uh, this one here is really cool. Uh, this is from a while back. Um, this was uh, off of Port Aransas, Texas, uh, but you'll see this uh, little counterclockwise spiral of warm water with some really nice, hard, defined, well-defined edges. Uh, and I, I posted that up on Facebook and said, look at this, this is a, uh, a Wahoo Vortex here because the, uh, the temperature is 70 to 74, so everything that's in color, here's your 70 degree line out here so anything that's in black is cooler than 70. Um, and then I had some customers uh, contact me later and that day and said man we whacked them out there I don't know why we did but it, man, I, now I see why. So uh, in any case it's it's cool to to keep some uh, historical shots to take with you. There's currents, uh, there's watercolor um, and so forth. I'm going to look at that nice colored image, even though it's not apples to apples. This is, uh, again, you can use the same technique to, to watch your color movements. Uh, 
of course I'm using I'm using a much uh, more recent C tint edge that was not really relative to this, but uh, in any case, you know what? Let's go take a look and find, let's see if we can find a chlorophyll shot that correlates to that, that edge. So we're gonna go into the website and I'm in the Northwest Gulf and let's go to chlorophyll and there we go. That's actually a pretty recent shot. It correlates with the uh, with the C temp shot. Let's go back and let's go get that shot. And it's going to come over here to South Carolina. It thinks I'm over here, or it knows I'm over here. So it's going to move the chart over here. I got to go back over to Texas. And then um, let's go. I'm going to just use the drop down list. Here's the chlorophyll shot I just saved. And um, let's bring up that route. Turn it on. And you can see that it is correlated with a color change. It's green north and west of it. And uh, there's another edge here. It's got a little bit better color differential. Um, but this is how it's, I feel it's very important to get specific on uh, certain structures and their relation to um, all your different parameters. And um, Here's your bottom topography, pretty nondescript really. Uh, but it is handy to see where these edges come off the shelf. I like those intersection points. Uh, there's a bell curve of fish, uh, the fish that are following this, the bottom structure, and then you have fish that are following the surface structure, and those intersection points are of interest. Of interest. Again, I gotta keep my videos short. Um, so that's all for now, but I'll be back here soon, and we'll be seeing you on the dock.